Julia. All right. Let's get you all start. You go. Before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to take a minute to thank today's sponsor, Casetify. You guys know how much I love their cases. I never not have one on my phone and I actually currently have on the Louvre X Casetify collab with the Venus de Milo. Kind of fitting for the Paris vlog. I just love the endless designs and customizations Casetify have. You can really make your phone your own, but one of the most important things for me is how protected and safe my phone is with Casetify. Their new QTech 2.0 technology offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet with their impact and ultra impact cases, which is so amazing. Their shock absorbing materials are also made from recycled and plant based materials. Casetify's new impact and ultra impact cases are also made from 60 65% recycled materials, they are 100% BPA free, non-toxin, non-hazardous and feature an antimicrobial coating to help prevent bacteria sticking to the surface which you know keeps you and your phone safe. Casetify have also released their new phone straps which are so cute and such a fun addition to your phone and can be put on any case. One thing that is really important to me and I'm sure to you guys is Casetify's drop to zero mission. They have a re program where they recycle or phone cases, they don't even have to be from their own brand. And Casetify have affiliate conscious line with 100% biodegradable and compostable and customizable cases. So if you're interested in switching up your phone case or grabbing a gift for someone else, you can use my link casetify.com slash moya to get 15% off your new favorite case. Thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring and let's get into the Paris vlog. to me mm -hmm. yeah me too and then we had some water and then we opened the door <laughs> the door the window and then Did it you got find too, it too noisy yeah yeah people were coming home from night out mm. and i was like no well we had a wholesome evening just got to bed and went to sleep <laughs> yeah lots of wine let's see what it's looking like outside it's so pretty i can't it's just so pretty <laughs> Guys, this Airbnb is so beautiful. I'll leave it linked down below, but I thought I'd give a little Airbnb tour. I'm currently in the living room. She has all these really cool antiquity things. Um, or maybe I'll start from the start. Okay, let's start from the start. This is the door and to the left is our room and she's blue 
And there's Lisa. Good morning. <laughs> How pretty. I love the prints. There's a mirror, a table. We have our own little mini balcony, Juliet balcony. Beautiful view. There she is. We hung up all our clothes like good, good travelers. We want to move in, that's because we want to move in, basically, yeah. And then across from the hall, we have the little mini kitchen, which is so sweet. The floor and the chairs, so cute. There's a piano, maybe maybe we'll play. Um, and then bathroom in there. And this is living area. Like, oh my God, can I please just live here? Like, what? And there's the balcony, which runs like the whole way across. Okay, I can't open this now. And there's some seats. There's a Notre Dame. Boulangerie down there. I'm gonna go get some bread. And then if you go back inside, there's so many cute little pieces. Like I love the prints up there and the little statues and the rug. Oh my god, this herring bow floor is to die for. Um, and then lastly, there's just a dining room with a gorgeous bookshelf. This painting is stunning. It's just so pretty, guys. It's just so pretty. I want to move to Paris. Like, why am I not living in Paris? That is the question. Okay, right, first day in Paris. Mm -hmm. OTD. What are we wearing, Lisa? All thrifted. Well, no, they're all from um, Haru. Help and reuse. Cute. And then my shoes are from C. This top is from Offcut Studio. It's a Sandy Man skirt, thrifted off Depop. Um, <laughs> and then my shoes are from me, so they're so fun. I'll give you a close up. You look really cute today, actually. Thank you. I'm with it. Let's bring <clears throat> Please digi help. camera, film camera, and this camera. We're so full with so much yummy pasta. They're actually so full. Duff. Oh, stop. This is so pretty. I think brown's nice. Guys, I found cardboard boots. 30 euros. into the store and I said I want a cardboard boots and we have cardboard boots <sighs> what purchase
down, down. Uh, a gauche. What's that mean? Left. No, uh, a droit. Uh, no, a gauche, petit, petit, a gauche, petit, petit, a droit. Um, uh, la, 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 up, up. No, oh no. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Have we got some sun today? Yay. Would you like a coffee now? It's Sunday today. We had we had such a fun night last night. We went to that jazz club and at first we were waiting in the queue and I don't know, the queue was going on for ages. Had to pay in and the drinks were kind of expensive, but the vibes were just so fun. But I thought I'd give you a little mini, mini vintage haul of the things I picked up yesterday because honestly, I limited myself so much. The shops were just so good and everything was so cheap like i actually don't understand we went to a few of the kilo stores but i think because you have to wait and you can't actually see what the price is just find it like a little bit overwhelming but the place where both of us got the most stuff was free star and the one around the corner from us i'll leave it linked but i got two things there the first thing is this pair of armani wool trousers and they're just grey kind of low waist super baggy this was like one of the one things i wanted to find was a decent pair of vintage trousers and they fit so well and i tried them on in the shop because i was wearing a skirt and they were on sale for 10 euros the other thing i picked up is another wool piece this maxi wool ralph lauren skirt made in italy and i don't know it's like kind of my style but also not really my style and i don't really know how i'm gonna wear it but it fits so well and it was on sale for five years so i couldn't turn it down so that was the only two pieces of clothing i got as i said very many thrift haul but the last thing which i picked up which i'm so excited about i was like we walked into this one store and i said to lisa i want to find a pair of cargo boots because I've been searching on Depop for them and there are a bunch on Depop and eBay but they usually go for like 50, 60 upwards um, and look what I got! I was so excited whenever I saw these. These are just kind of standard plain Sancho brown pointed toe cargo boots um, and they fit me and they were 30 euros so I just like I can pass them up couldn't pass them up this morning it's kind of grey again we came here at a very grey time but that's okay um, I think we're just going to walk along the Seine we might go to Saint Germain area um, and just kind of have like a, a wholesome Sunday we have a dinner booked later in Marais but yeah I'm just going to take it easy we had like Kind of a full on day yesterday, so chilly day. Oh, TT. Let me put you somewhere. Hot from Unique Clothing. My friend knitted these. My mom crocheted this, and then my fit you can't really see is from Susu Musa Clothing. Jacket vintage and shoes. Love her. Beautiful Sunday. Beautiful Sunday. So, find this place, and they have so many veggie options. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yum. We got so much food. We got so much food. Like, we actually don't even know what's going on. 
So fluffy on the inside. Let me try <laughs> She came back for the jacket. It was too good to lose. Once again, I met the love of my life. I said a patisserie shop. <laughs> Lisa rolling her eyes because I say this every single day. You don't even just say this every single day, you say this multiple times every multiple single time day. today. I just fall in love in every street corner in Paris. That's okay, but you're crazy. <laughs> and I don't have the balls to go up and say anything to them. I don't know why though, I think you just should. Mm. You're here in Paris, you're young, you're beautiful, having a good time. You just need to like. You just need to like. Happy girl, happy wife, I'm happy cute. life. Oh, you look so cute. We're in Saint Germain. I think this is the Jardin de Luxembourg. Don't know if we have to pay in. If we do, we're not going because we're broke. We're broke now. Well, Lisa's broke. <laughs> we're broke now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's prettier, the view, you, <laughs> or me. We're going to the Eiffel to the Tour Eiffel. Cycling? Wee! Mm. <laughs> Wee! We're gonna try and get a scooter. <laughs> We're gonna try, that's the key word. And then drink some vino before dinner. Get some spicy crisps. Oh my god, yeah, spicy crisps. Fit check. I'm wearing Lisa's jumper because it's cold. And it looks really cool on you. And she's wearing a new jacket. Which is.
it's not my last night, but I don't have any accommodation for it. I don't want to go either. Yeah, why don't you stay so we can share a, <laughs> so we can share, so we can share accommodation <laughs> and clothes. Oh yeah, I'm wearing Lisa's top. And um, I'm wearing her bag. Yeah, and I'm wearing trousers that I thrifted the other day. And my Mista platform. This evening we're going to a restaurant called Les Enfants Rouge. Lisa found it. It's like French Japanese. I hope they I'm have so sorry, so sorry. some kind of veggie ish options. Though I've been pretty lax. I've had I have I haven't had fish yet. No, you haven't. No, I've I've had like cheese. I've had cheese. So we're not being vegan. Um but last night I've had C'est la grande arme de la coquetterie vertueuse. Alors je te retrouverai 